Okay, Mark's up. And he is going to... He's going to heal. Okay. He's going to rest. So he'll gain... One health and... Two... Uh, one uh, sanity, rather. Okay. And then... He is going to move up to spot nine. And he's going to try and get that clue. So, that's the end of Mark's action. We go over to Lola here. Lola, who surprisingly just beat that monster, um, she's going to heal. Alright, so first thing she's going to do is take one sanity. And also... One health. And for her second action, she's going to take a tur uh You know what? She's going to try and acquire some assets. Okay, so she has an influence of four. And we're going to roll and see what we get. So she has two successes. So she's going to take... Huh. Now she could take the pocket watch. Okay, and the pocket watch will cause her not to become the lead. You know, unless she chooses to. Could be good. And she could take the arcane manuscript with the pocket watch. Okay, so she has two successes. She could take one card worth two or two cards worth one. You know. And then she would gain plus one when resolving spell effects. Also could help her. Or she could take the Holy Water, which costs two. And that'll give her plus five uh, health and sanity. Or uh, will, rather. Or she could discard it and become blessed. As an action. And you know what? I think she's going to take the Holy Water. Okay. So, let me draw a new card. It's a private card. It's a service. When you gain this card, immediately you recover all health and sanity. Then discard the card. It costs two successes to win. So that's a pretty good card. Especially if you're low on health and sanity. Okay, so that's the end of the action phase. We move on to the encounter phase. Mark's going to encounter a research encounter. Try and get that clue token. Clue 9 is in the wilderness. Okay. And it says... You discover a 20-foot tall gray metallic cone. Gain this clue. So he immediately gains the clue. Boink. Okay. Then, you try to make sense of the alien technology inside. Test your lore minus one. It's not looking good for Mark. His lore is one. So we would... He would get one die for his lore, but he would subtract one die, meaning he would get nothing. But in this game, you always get to roll one die. Okay, so we roll it, and we're hoping for a five or a six. And we get a four. <laughs> okay, so if he had passed, he would manage to operate the Shan technology, discard one token from the Eldritch track, or the Omen track. So, that sucks. He could have got rid of that Eldritch token on the Omen track. Alright, but at least he gained a clue. Okay, so now, we go over to, uh, Lola here. And, as you can see in Tokyo, it says, most likely it will defeat a monster. So, I think she'll, she'll go for that. Okay, so here we go, Tokyo. A strange man dressed in the charred robes of a monk offers you help in exchange for knowledge. You may spend one clue to convince the black monk to assist you and discard one monster of your choice from any space. Unfortunately, she doesn't have any clue tokens, so nothing happens. All right, on to the mythos fees. Okay, here we go. We advance the Doom token by one. Alright, and being that the Omen track 
corresponds with the gate in Buenos Aires, the blue gate, uh, comet thingy. We moved the Doom token down by one. Down to 13. Okay, next we do the Reckoning effects. Again, the, uh, the Cultist doesn't have a Reckoning effect. Azathoth doesn't have a Reckoning effect. The Rumor card does, so we remove one Eldritch token from the Rumor card. Okay, next we... Oh, oh uh, now we move into the Possessions. Now, none of our investigators have any Possessions with the Reckoning sign on it. So, we move on to the next symbol. Which is, we spawn a gate. Okay. The new gate will be in Shanghai. Now we spawn a monster on the gate. And we have a cultist. Now remember, that green symbol means you flip it over. But to cultist, it says refer to the omen, or the ancient one track. The ancient one sheet. Alright, nothing special for the, uh, the cultist. Okay, so finally, it's Silver Twilight Aid. Once inside the lodge, your host invites you to follow him upstairs. Several members stare in astonishment. Outsiders are rarely granted such access. At the top of the stairs, you are ushered into a library filled with rare and exotic tomes. Now, he says, how can we help you? Okay, so, to an event, each investigator may do one of the following things. You can gain one clue, gain one asset, or gain one spell. So, what I think is going to happen is, they're both going to gain one clue. Clues are very good to have. They're like currency in a sense. Okay, so we randomly draw one clue for each investigator. There's one for Mark. And being that I flip this one over, trying to grab it, I'll give that one to Lola. So that is the end of the Mythos phase. Okay, so now we go back to the action phase. Mark's up, and he's going to travel to Arkham. And then he's going to take a ship token. I'm going to try and get him down to Buenos Aires and close that gate up. Lola over here is going to... She's going to try and acquire some assets. Okay, so... Her influence is four. Let's see what she gets. One. One lowly success. So, she's going to take the arcane manuscripts. Okay, and again, gives her plus one when doing a lore test. Uh, Alright, let me slide these up under here. There we go. Alright. So then we draw a new Asset, we have the carbine rifle, pretty powerful weapon here. Once per round, you may gain plus five strength during a combat encounter. And it costs three uh, successes to gain it. Okay, so for her second action, she's going to go over to spot two and try and resolve this, uh, this rumor card here. Okay, so on to the encounters. So again, Mark has a choice. You could go with... The color scheme or the generic? I think we'll go with a generic card this time. Okay, so we do the black card. Flip it over. And we do the city section up top. It says, the shop is robbed while you are browsing. You attempt to fend off the thieves. Test your strength. Okay, so Mark's strength is a four. Okay, so Mark's strength is a four. We're going to roll four dice. All we need is one success. And he passes. Two fives. Okay. So, it says, if you pass, the store owner is very gracious. Gain one item from the asset uh, reserve or one random item from the asset deck. So, we got a choice here. What are we going to do? He's going to do the carbine rifle, I think. Alright. He's going to be our fighter. So, we draw another asset. It is Define Clothes. It says each six you roll when performing an acquire action. Uh, acquire asset action counts as two successes, and it costs two successes to win it. Okay, so that's the end of Mark's encounter fees. We go to Lola. Remember, it says as an encounter on space two, 
uh, we can resolve other world encounters. And if it allows us to close the gate, this rumor is solved. Okay? So we take our other world encounter. And it says, you hear the sound of terrible gust of wind. And listen carefully. To determine the origin of sound, you may spend one clue to resolve the pass effect. If you do not spend one clue, resolve the fail effect. Um, well, being that it says we could choose one or the other, let's read what they are. Okay, something large and powerful is trying to break through a sealed trapdoor. The racket is startling and you consider running away. Test the will. If you pass, you resolve to fend off the terrible beast. Oh, I'll get to that later. Okay, and then the fail is bursting up through it. An opening in the floor, a flying polyp attacks. Test your strength. So her strength sucks. We're going to go with the the will. All right. All right. So her will is three. And her special ability is she can roll one additional die. So here we go. She passes. And it says if you pass... You resolve to fend off the terrible beast, and with the help of the Yithians, you close this gate. Alright, so, we close the gate. That solves the rumor. So, we uh, prevented the Doom Track from going down if we didn't solve that rumor. We remove these uh, Eldritch Tokens. I find rumors are bad, and you want to try and resolve them as quickly as possible. Okay, so that's the end of the encounter phase. Yep, get rid of this uh, room token too. We move on to the mythos phase. Alright, so the omen track moves by one. Now, we're on the green spot of the omen track. We do ha not have any gates with the green spot on it. We don't move the the uh, Doom token because of that. But the Eldritch token is there. And that's part of Azathal's special, you know, thing. So we move the Doom token down to 12. Okay. Next we go with the Reckoning effect. Okay. Cultist. You know, doesn't do anything. Azathoth doesn't do anything. We got rid of that Rumor card. There's no ongoing Mythos cards. None of the possessions have a symbol. We're good with that. We spawn a gate. And the gate is spawned in Arkham. Right where Mark is. Okay. Let's see what monster we get with the gate. And we get the Maniac. Okay. It is all for nothing. You wrap the towel around some ice and apply it to your injuries. Hoping to reduce the swelling, you make a mental list of all the sacrifices that you have had to make and those that you've asked of others. All that terrible loss and you can't for the life of you think of any good that's been accomplished. It's an event. Shuffle a solved mystery back into the deck unless investigators as a group spend clue tokens equal to half the investigators. If there are no solved mysteries, advance to doom by one. So, you haven't solved any mysteries yet. We're working on that. We advance to doom by one. So that sucked. Okay, so now that is the end of round three. Three? Yeah, three. All right, and now I got a decision to make here with Mark. He has this boat token, and from Arkham, he could get down to Buenos Aires. But, I want to hold off. Oh, well, nah, you know what? I'll go down there anyway. I was thinking, maybe just take the long way down, go to, like, location 7, and then down to Buenos Aires. Um, you know, try and build up some, uh, uh, rest a little bit, or build up some assets first. And then go down. But it's only a cultist. I think Mark can beat him. Um, and then the next round he'll just hang out. He'll rest. Maybe get another token. You know, a, a travel token. And then close the gate. 
and hopefully by then the uh, omen track will move over one and he can close the gate and then solve the first mystery all right so that's mark's first move okay he is going to spend this ship token oh wait 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 no he's not he's not going to spend the ship token quite yet first thing he's going to do is heal okay going to rest and heal up a little bit so now he's at full strength and full um sanity or you know and now he's going to spend that ship token like i said and move down to buenos aires so it goes to eight and then down to buenos aires okay now lola um we're gonna send her we're gonna send her back to tokyo i think okay so first she's gonna move to Tokyo, and then she's going to rest. Okay, so one sanity. Back to full health. Okay. And now, Mark's going to fight the cultist. It's an encounter phase. Now remember, with the cultist, there's nothing on the back. We refer to the Ancient One sheet. Okay, so... On the cultist sheet, it says that we have to do a horror check. So we have to test our will. And Mark's will is five. And he passes with one success. So, he got lucky. Didn't take any sanity loss there. Okay, and then... It says, after resolving the, the uh, horror test, basically, sanity test, lose one health and defeat the monster. So... He loses one health. Shonk. And the cultist goes bye bye. You know, who wants to be a cultist anyway? It's 2014. Alright, anyway. So now, Mark defeat the monster. He could choose to do another encounter. Now, he doesn't want to encounter the gate yet. The omen track's not in the right position. It's up on the green comet, not on the blue comet. So, um, he could, he could encounter Buenos Aires or just a generic city encounter. And, uh,. I don't know if I want to give him any more spells. So, we'll just do the generic city encounter. Okay, and it says... A friendly game of cards ends with a very high stakes hand. Test your influence. So, he has... Two influence. Okay. And he passes. And then it says, if you pass, you amaze everyone watching and find a new friend. Gain one random ally asset from the deck. So now Mark's got an ally. That's pretty cool. So, we take the asset deck and we search it for an ally. Okay, so I'm going to start from the top. Oh, here we go. Second one in. He has a private investigator. It's an ally. He gains one observation and he may reroll re one die when resolving an observation test which is good because his observation sucks so i'm running out of room and we shuffle up the deck place it back in the board on the board okay we move over to lola here and she'll encounter tokyo all right so tokyo you find a gem bearing the symbol of the Emerald Lama. In its facet, you see the image of some horrible beast. Suddenly, the creature is right next to you. Choose one non-epic monster on any space and move it to your space, then encounter it. Well, that sucks. Alright, so... Um... Well, I guess the cultist is closest to her. 
There we go. All right, so now we refer to Azathal sheet here for the cultist. She has to do a sanity check. So she rolls three dice and she passes. Okay, so cultist is immediately discarded and she takes one hit in damage according to the sheep. Alright. It's the end of the encounter phase. On to the mythos phase. Okay, so now we move the omen track. There we go. Doom token goes down by one. Now this symbol in the middle here is a monster surge. We refer to our reference sheet and for two player game one monster appears on each gate with the corresponding symbol on the omen track. So, here we go. We have the elder thing. It has that green uh, tentacle sticking out of the world thingy on it. So that means you flip it over, it's immediate effect. And it says, when this monster is spawned, move it to Antarctica. So off to Antarctica he goes. Next, we spawn a clue token. Okay. So we draw one random clue, and it goes to the pyramids. Alright, and finally, the card is No Peace for the Fallen. You can feel the decay clinging to you. This sickening putrefaction is everywhere, and you fear the toll is taking on your friends lying in hospital beds. Okay, so it's an event. Discard all possessions on defeated investigator sheets and return all defeated investigator tokens and sheets to the game box. Then the lead investigator gains a cursed condition. So, that sucks for Mark, he's the lead investigator. There are no defeated investigators on the board. So, Mark takes a cursed condition. So we start drawing from the bottom of the condition deck until we find a cursed condition. And curses really suck. Because that means he can only have a success on a 6. Okay. And then if he would gain a curse condition, we flip this over and resolve what's on the back. Usually not good. If we gain a blessed condition, we can discard this card. Okay. And then during the reckoning, we have to roll one die. On a 4, 5, or 6, we discard the card. So, that sucks. Sucks for Mark. All right. Shuffle the deck up a little bit and put it back where it was. Okay, so on the round four, it is Mark's turn. First thing he is going to do is he's going to take a boat ticket. He's going to prepare for travel. Okay. Next is to... Uh, uh, he's going to rest. He's going to build his strength back up a little bit. Okay, so he's maxed out on sanity and health again. Now remember, he defeat the monster, so he, he can do that. If there were a monster on the spot still, he couldn't rest or acquire assets. But he's good with that. Okay, on the Lola. Um, we're going to move her over to Shanghai, because that is the next... Omen on the Omen track. We're going to try and close that gate in Shanghai. Alright, and her first action is going to be to rest. She's going to build back up on, on her health. And then she's going to travel to Shanghai. Alright, into the encounter phase. Mark's going to encounter the gate. Alright, so draw another world card. And it is lost Carcosa. Staring out at the cloudy water of Lake Howie, you are horrified to see the entire lake rippled as if something at the bottom is about to surface. You are seized by a terrible panic that paralyzes you. Test your will. So Mark's will was five. Not one success. <laughs> Alright, so Mark has this trinket. 
which is allows him to roll re-roll one die after performing a test. Or when performing a test, okay? So he's gonna roll one more die, and hopefully he'll get a six. And he gets a five. And he normally would have passed, but he's cursed. So he doesn't. This is not good for Mark. Alright, so we go down to the red section here at the bottom. Suddenly, a flurry of tentacles burst out of the water. One of the flailing limbs grabs you and tries to pull you into the water. You attempt to bind the creature with powerful magic. Test lore, minus one. Okay, so... This really sucks for Mark because he only has one lore. And a curse, and he gets a four, so nothing happens. Okay, so now, it says, if you fail, you are dragged into the water. Lose two health. Okay, luckily, Mark's pretty strong. There goes that. Okay, on to Lola. That really sucked. I was hoping to close that gate. Um, alright, so Lola, instead of closing the gate, yeah, instead of closing the gate, Lola is going to try and improve her lore again. She's going to encounter Shanghai. Okay, so here we go. Shanghai says, if you convince Chu Min to help you, he will use New China's vast resources to provide you with any sort of instruction you require. Test your influence. So her influence is four. Here we go. And she passes. She's got a six. All right. And then it says, if you pass, improve one skill of your choice. If you fail, lose one health. Well, she passed. So, she can improve one skill of her choice. So that could be helpful to her. Let's see. You know what? She's going to improve her observation. Okay. So there we go. Plus one with the observation. Now she has three. It's the end of the encounter phase. On to the mythos phase. Okay, here we go. We move the omen track. There's two of them red comets on there. We go down to eight. We resolve the reckoning effects. And the only monster we have on the board are the maniac and the elder thing, and neither one have a reckoning effect. Azathoth doesn't have a Reckoning Effect. Uh, there's no Mythos cards on the board with a Reckoning Effect, but... Mark has his Curse Condition, and it does have the Reckoning Effect symbol on it. So, he has to roll one die. And he gets a five. And it says on a four, five, or six, he can discard the card. He couldn't have got that one turn earlier, could he? <laughs> you know, he would have opened, he would have closed that gate, maybe. <sighs> Alright, shuffle the deck up, put it back in the deck, shuffle it up. There we go. Alright, we spawn a new gate. And it goes down to Sydney. We spawn the goat spawn. Okay, and it says, desperate times, you hear it again and again on the news. Every day the world takes another step toward utter annihilation. You ask yourself, how much would you sacrifice to prevent that disaster? Even if you could only grant humanity one more day of existence, could you honestly say that the price was too high? Says an event. Doom advances by two unless the lead investigator gains a dark pack condition. So, the Doom track is at eight. I'm gonna, I, I think he's going to gain a dark pack condition. Okay. So, we go through our condition deck here. Gains a dark pack condition, so it's a deal. Roll one die during the reckoning effect. You roll one die on a one, it is time to fulfill your part of the bargain, flip the card over. Okay. 
shuffle up the cards, put them back where they were. 